Well, April is Donate Life Month, and all week we've been bringing you some incredible stories of people who are waiting for organs so they can have the surgeries that they need to survive. Okay, listen to this. Very important. There are nearly 120,000 people waiting for transplants in the U.S. right now. More than 80% are waiting for one particular organ. This morning, we bring you the stories of four people who are in that group and people that you can help. I did that. Yeah, you did that. <laughs> Linda McElroy is a proud grandmother. Evelyn James is a passionate healthcare worker, and Robert Mueller is a business executive. Karen Johnson is a 15-year-old student athlete. These four people have never met, but they all have one thing in common, kidney failure. Some of the most common medical problems that people in the United States have are diabetes and high blood pressure, and they are both the number one and number two causes of kidney failure. And so there's just a vast majority of people um, that have end-stage kidney disease and require dialysis and then eventually transplantation. More than 90,000 people in America need a kidney transplant. Many are like Evelyn James. She has type 2 diabetes. And like more than a third of those who need kidneys, she is African-American. And I just push forward and push forward, you know, do the, the things that I'm supposed to do. But I just keep going. You know, I don't let it get me down. Many others are like Robert Mueller with a kind of high blood pressure that's difficult to manage. It was really hard to watch him sort of deteriorate because originally when they we talked about a kidney and what was going on with his health, um, you know, they said he had uh, high blood pressure and that was difficult and then it just got progressively worse. And over the last, I'd say, three years, three or four years, his health really deteriorated. While family history plays a role in kidney failure for quite a few patients, it definitely does for Linda McElroy. Polycystic kidney disease has already killed her father and brother, and it's put her on the transplant waiting list. My brother was on the uh, transplant list, but he didn't live long enough to receive a kidney. And of course, they both died very young. And um, it's just a hereditary disease where the kidneys um, cysts are formed on the kidneys and um, they're no longer able to function. For a smaller number, kidney failure happens because of rare and little understood conditions. Karen Johnson spiraled into end-stage kidney disease quickly. Never heard of it. He has primary FSGS. Um, so back in August of 2016, it was time to start football in school for his um, sophomore year. So, you know, they have to have a physical. So I was like, okay, well, let's go have your physical and it's time for your yearly checkup anyway. So let's go. Um, and this is something that just came on out of nowhere. What's different for kidney transplant patients from those waiting on most other organs is that a living donation is possible. Healthy people can donate one of their kidneys to save someone else. That's how Robert got his kidney. Stephanie Hausman was a perfect stranger. When this Jacksonville woman heard about him through a co-worker, she flew to Chicago to donate a kidney. A lot of people ask her why. Why not? I mean, <laughs> you know, there's, there's thousands of people who need one and everybody has a spare. So, you know, why not share your spare? <laughs> Doctors say encouraging living donation for kidney transplants is an answer for this growing problem. Linda McElroy is hoping it may be for her. A niece who wants to give her a kidney is being tested to confirm that she is a match. For now, she counts on dialysis to keep her alive and focuses on staying healthy. Just a few days after we shot this video with Karen Johnson, the call came that a kidney from a deceased donor was available. He knows how lucky he is. The way to North Florida for a kidney from a deceased donor is usually three to four yes, years. It's a, it's a great gift. It's, it's very special to me. Like, I take it very personal. Like, someone giving up their life for me to live. That's something very special to me. For more information on all these stories and to learn how to join Florida's organ donor registry, go to news4jax.com under the morning show page. It is really so easy to do. Do it today. It does not take a very long time at all, so you can do it today and potentially save a life. And of course, we will continue to follow the stories of those who are still waiting and let you know if hopefully they get to receive that gift of life.